Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about ultrasound and its impact on brain function. I've been reading a lot of uh, journals, of course, on sound. I, I enjoy doing that. And ultrasound, you know, we're all familiar with ultrasound, and I'm sure many of us have had it, you know, go to the hospital or your doctor's office. And it's an imaging system, so it's a, a way to examine body parts using sound waves. Now, the sound waves are 2 to 18 megahertz. We won't go into what megahertz means, but it's like 100 times greater than human hearing capacity. So it's, you know, completely different frequency range than, than we're used to operating in. So um, how does it work? Diffused energy is reflected back to a source. So you got the source, the ultrasound. You, you always see when women are pregnant and they put the the transmitter on their belly and you can so that's the transmitter and then it transmits diffused energy and it repeats in signal and then comes back and i think that's how they you know measure and, and they're able to form uh stuff so target areas surface brain and the organs obviously but brain it's been used a lot for brain functions now so what what are we seeing well we see that it changes the way the neurons interact you can study what a neuron is on your own. There's no issue there. But it's, you know, it's an it's electrical circuit, we could call it. So it changes the way it interacts. It reduces its ability to send and receive chemical messages because there's a lot of chemistry uh, interchanging going on be between the cells along with current. So you have all of this dynamics, all these systems going on. So it reduces its ability to send. So what happens to feelings when it does that? Because, you know, biochemistry is associated with feelings. How the body reacts to feelings of anxiety, fear, and stress has a positive impact on that. So that's kind of interesting. So let's look at this impact in this process and what does it represent? Well, it represents us in our rooms, sitting down in front of our speakers, theater or two channel, doesn't matter. And, you know, what we're getting diffused sound waves directed at our brain from our speakers. Hopefully your room is properly diffused. And the music resonates with us in our rooms. And the music from our systems is the sender. That's the transmitter. That's the probe on the pregnant woman's belly to check the status of the fetus. So that's what's going on here. And what does music do? It has a dramatic impact on anxiety, fear, and what's the other one? Stress. Yikes, of course. So that's, you know, back to what I always think about, you know, the, the limbic system and the resi resonating uh, frequencies that impact that system. And I believe that's what really it's, it's a primordial uh, response. I really believe it's, there's some biochemical things going on here. I know there is. And there's many, many studies about it. So ultrasound brain function has a very positive impact. And all we have to do is press the play button. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.